guys, Mr. Ozai here. Uh, so before we get this video started, I did want to start with the, you know, when I show off the hanger I've got here. This is obviously, you know, I can't just abruptly show this. This is my first ever video, and I just want to, you know, talk about that. So I'm going to actually be putting a little bit of effort into actually, you know, editing this video. I haven't really messed with editing software too much before. Uh, I managed to get an intro and an outro, if you, you've probably already seen the intro, seeing as it comes before the video. Um, I'm gonna do, you know, minor editing to this. Uh, I'd mostly just like to do whatever just makes the video look okay. Um, I haven't really got a script, because it's gonna be live gameplay. It's gonna, just gonna go however it goes. Um, and, you know, with that being said, here is my hanger. This is my main account on my iPhone. Champion League hanger. Uh, I have all of these. Uh, here is my uh, my pilots. Uh, the leech pilots have the same things on them, and uh, the uh, Arjun pilots have the same things on them. And uh, we also have this one Phantom pilot here. So you know, I run mechanic on basically everything and. Uh, just those generic abilities that help you out when you're in a pinch and uh, yeah I also have here my Elming Titan uh, you know like subscribe if you want to see some videos with the other Titans I also have won an Arthur from a giveaway I was very lucky and I've played a couple games with it it is quite it's quite it's pretty strong uh, I was, I was surprised I was really surprised to see that um, if you are really considering w whether or not you want uh, Arthur or the Elming, I can make a video on that of its own. This is just a gameplay video, so I'll probably only be playing with the Elming. But um, just my, my little two cents here. I do think that they're both great bots. Before I had the Arthur, I really just thought that the Elming was supposedly supposed to be, you know, superior in every way since it's the, you know, more expensive premium flagship bot. But they really both are quite strong and. You know, I could, I could respect that. I could, they're, they're pretty respectable. Um, that being said, Arthur is mainly a damage taker, whereas Al Ming is a damage dealer. And as if, as if you, you know, you could see my hanger, I'm mainly into doing damage and less into tanks, because uh, you know, you, most players who play tanks will use something like a Fenrir, which I actually do have one. So uh, this is my hanger. If you guys would like to see any videos within showcasing any of these other bots, or even some bots I don't have, I'll make them in the workshop eventually, because I do want to have a collection of most bots, but uh, I could run an all dash hanger, all dragon hanger, all that, that, that weird funky stuff. You know, I've been, been just wanting to experiment, see what I could do, but this, this first video is just going to be a, you know, generic little, little video. I'm going to play one or two games and see how things go with these. So uh, I hope you enjoy this. All right, here we are. We've loaded into a game of domination. Let's just see what my teammates are running. We've got another Phantom and a Blitz and a Fury. And uh, one of us hasn't spawned in yet. Let's see, what, who are we fighting against? Okay, so you know we got. This is the first uh, match loading in. Uh, luckily, we're not against like one of those death squads of maxed players and stuff. So I can hopefully get some pretty decent uh, you know, footage for you guys. So um, I'm pretty sure that the other Phantom is probably rushing the middle. Yeah, or one of the guys from TD. Uh, I'm going to actually rush this left side since nobody's really protecting it. Put some pressure here. It seems this one guy might notice me. Oh no, he doesn't. So I'm just going to take this and then I'm going to circle around and take their other beacon as well. Uh, this is really some good gameplay I'd like to show off at this Phantom. I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but Phantom really can put some pain in the battlefield. I mean, you, you, you can pressure play these enemies. So they seem, they're currently, you know, probably beating us quite a bit, but uh, it just can bother them a lot. They come back here in the back lines. So if you have a Phantom here, he's, uh, I'm not sure what the plan he's in is, but he's obviously higher level than me, and I'm just gonna. You know, he's, he's got those flamethrower weapons, so it's not a, not as good. At Locked him down right before he got to the beacon. So I can capture this. Hopefully, he doesn't kill me. So, uh, yeah, you, you can really harass players like that a lot. I, I love that about the Phantom. It's really a fun bot. You know, mo most of the time, the, the bots they, that are in the meta are just like, right there to the point. If it's invincible, it's this, it does that. But, like, specifically, Phantom is one of the more fun bots in the meta. I really enjoy it. 
Now we have here uh, Haojun, which I also think is quite fun. Uh, the dev stream they mentioned, people actually voted that Haojun was everybody's favorite bot of 2019. Or 20, yeah, 2019. So, um, you know, what is, what is your guys' favorite bot? You can leave that in the comments, it'd be pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I do really like uh, basically every bot. I specifically love the Dragon Robots. Uh, if you, if you saw in my hangar, I actually have every Dragon Robot, uh, at least one of them. I got two Ajuns, two, two Aguang, one Ao one Ming, and one uh, Ao Kin. The Ao Kin isn't that good in Champion League, but the other ones are pretty powerful. Uh, so it is, it is definitely definitely an interesting bot. Okay. So here I'm running actually uh, Shieldbreaker on this one to counter Ares and such. But that was a pursuer, and he had stuff, so I wasn't really able to do much against him. But our teammate probably had anti-stealth there. So let's see what this guy is in. He's in a mender, looks like. I just saw his arm sticking from the side there. And I'm going to pressure this beacon, because so it looks like uh, we're kind of, you know, not, not, we're not holding as many beacons as I'd like to be. So I'm going to come back here and uh, see if I can take this. Is this this mender, I'm going to kill it. Seems to be probably a lower level mender because I really am shredding them. Uh, okay. Oh shoot, you have a falcon here. Uh, I seem to be. Oh, I thought that was a traditionalist. I'm really low on him because I don't know if I'm going to kill him. Uh, yeah, but I did some damage there, but unfortunately didn't expect that falcon to be coming around. I just saw the mender and thought that I'd be able to take him out. Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, a lot of people have been hating Titans, but recently with this, this new big Titan buff they made them a lot stronger. They've got a lot more health and such. Currently I seem to be fighting players that are much higher level than me. And then that guy just ripped through me with his Avenger. Let's see, we have another Al Mink here. Uh, I'm gonna assume he's probably also way higher level than me. He's really ripping this out doing ups. So I'm actually going to do the script the strategy of hiding behind this wall and shooting. Because titans are extremely tall, which, uh, so for basically every titan but the kid, all of their mountain weapons, or their strongest weapons, are mounted on the top, and, uh, they can easily shoot over buildings and stuff to avoid taking damage. Uh, it's basically the good, the good old corner shooting meta all over hand. Now, uh, it seems we've got you know, an inspector here. I'm gonna heal and fly. This is probably a bad idea, but I just want to get a little bit more damage in this Titan before it goes down. Because, yeah, my other heavy weapon is broken off, so I had to, do it. had to fly up to get a little bit more damage there. Now we're in a leech. Uh, I was going to go for that beacon again, but it looks like uh, one of our teammates beat me to it. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to start yelling come back yet, because we only half got that middle beacon, but it looks like they killed the one person that was there. Uh, now, here, uh, another thing I'd like to talk about is Shark Sharkshooter is a beautiful skill. I absolutely love this skill with all my heart. It really, really helps with that room. Like, that guy is really high level. I need to check him out after the next game, maybe, because he's pretty good. Uh, that was the same person who was in the Phantom. Yeah, we're fighting some pretty high level players here. That guy's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting, those top weapons on all of the Titans have this really cool feature that you can just go through damage resistance. Dang, that guy just turned my Legion up during the Ashes. Pretty powerful. Well, let's see, let's see what we got here. So, um, I'm just gonna take this beacon back. I don't know for how long, but hopefully some amount of time. Uh, is this another, another Outming over, over there again? Another Mofo guy. That Mofo guy and the, what's it called, the other guy killed my Legion. They are really high level. Uh, this guy is currently flying, doesn't want to go down, so I'm able to do quite a bit of damage to my Alju. Now, uh, this leech is probably, yeah, this leech is definitely going to take me down. I'm going to stop shooting him because I don't want to rip my teammate up, but... Whew, whew, whew. Those guys are high level. Uh, hopefully, whenever they merge iOS and Android, uh, I'll be able to get match made with more reasonable opponents, but here, as you can obviously see, like, these guys are kind of out of my league. Um, hopefully, though, they can still get some decent recording gameplay out of this. Alright, well, that's the end of this match. Let's get on to the next one. Alright, here we are. We've come into the moon map, which happens to be one of my favorite maps. 
I really do like this map here. Uh, it's a very, very nice close quarters map. Uh, lots of cover and stuff. And this really interesting middle beacon. You can have just fights that don't actually happen since you must have the one person on top contesting it with a person on the bottom and they can't fight. It's pretty funny when that happens sometimes. Uh, okay, so generally, whenever I spawn on this side, my uh, play style will be to try to come around here and see what kind of damage I can do. Now, oftentimes, uh, oh, there's another person from the hood clan. Oftentimes, we'll get like a person there gets there before me, so I would have to fight them. And they would have high ground. But this time, they they were a little bit slow. So they had to come around here. And I gotta heal up because that guy, uh, he's, he's got some pretty nasty pulsar there, pulsar specter, so he really ripped me apart. But uh, I'm gonna now loop around this way, and if you don't already have this beacon, I'm gonna attempt to take it. Uh, we were almost four capping them there. Now there's just three. Me and this Loki seem to have the same idea, yeah. Oh, I absolutely love this Loki setup. Like, it's not that it's especially amazing, but that is so sexy. Look at those green weapons on the green robot. Oh, it's so nice looking. I absolutely love that. Alright, so this is the same uh, quick player with the high level spectrum. Yeah, with those pulsars. Now this guy is pretty interesting. I really don't... Uh, Oh, okay, so my my anti-control was able to proc there, so now I can go in here with a little bit more confidence that I won't be, get my damage minimized, but that, that Raker, I really do like Raker. It's an it's a affordable lot. It's, uh, you know, it, it's, its ability is pretty, pretty powerful as well. You'd be kind of surprised just to see how well you could do with Raker, even though it's like one of the more affordable bots. I, I know a lot of players like to use Raker against leeches, because you can like suppress that leech uh, as long as you can get through its anti-control, which is really it's a really fun thing. Uh, I think it works best with lockdown weapons personally, like Halos and the Coronas, or not Halos and the Glory. Uh, but a lot of people like to play longer range setups on it. Which is probably a good idea. Now we got 75% of our Titan here, um, so I'm gonna just take these beacons and do a little bit of fighting here, and hopefully. By the time this leech dies, I will have my Helming and I can spawn in that. So I'll just give you guys a bit more gameplay of that, because I do know a lot of players do love that Helming. Uh, the gameplay of it is extremely fun. It feels like this massive war blimp. Wow, capturing beacons, uh, this just in, capturing beacons gives you a ton of Titan charge. Like, that was one beacon that took me from 75% to almost 100%. The second beacon just topped me off. That is, that is pretty nice. Now I'm fighting this uh, Fenrir again with this Sharpshooter skill. I really do like this Sharpshooter skill. It gives you so much more range than you normally have with these storms. And I absolutely love that. Okay, so um, I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna live here. Yeah, I'm kinda screwed there. But it's okay, because now I have my Alming. So, uh, I'd like some gameplay with this Alming. Uh, general strategy with it is fly, shoot, go down, you know, generic basic things. It's, uh, it's the only robot in the game that has infinite life, which is extremely interesting. It's a really cool ability. Uh, I absolutely love this ability. It brings me back to when I used to have a hover. I did end up selling that hover a while ago. Dang, it is really fun to play like that. Now it's just like how you know, instead of just a long flight, it's really, it's an infinite flight. That is cool. So, now you see this Aljun is, the Aljun is like the bane of Titans, Titans in general, not, not just like, uh, not, not just this Titan, specifically like all Titans, oh, Aljun absolutely murders them. But with this Titan, what you can do is, on, on, oftentimes you could just land, and take much less damage, and it will allow you to, you, know, you can then go fly up, and then you get the Aljun, and when he's landed, so you won't have to stop so we have a, a few specters here. This one seems to be running from storms, I believe, and uh, he's doing a lot of damage. So I'm actually going to just peek him over this. He won't be able to hit me. Uh, okay, so I'm going to heal up. Uh, specter, I don't want him to jump, so I'm going to try to take him out like this. So normally, this Titan is really good at taking out the kid Titans. Uh, I'm low on health here, so that's not it. I'm going to do as well. 
unfortunately, but uh, I thought I'd be able to save myself from just corner shoot or top shoot, but and what I wasn't able to. Anyway, um, let's see what we have here. We've got just uh, we've got a Loki. This Loki's been alive for a while here. Right. I wonder if I can hit him a little bit. I can hit him on my way up. Maybe I knocked out one of his weapons. Okay, so I'm not gonna land down there because that's, that Fenrir is gonna do a lot of damage. And uh, look, yeah, see he opened his weapon, but I want to take down the Fenrir. Now I'm going to just throw it. Looks like I got that one. I thought I didn't get him there. But I uh, okay, still had a couple of Avenger bolts that were traveling. Okay, maybe I'll be able to. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, just barely. Alright. That Wonder Worker ability completely saved my life. There. I absolutely love Wonder Worker on these things uh, because it, it, will, it will save you so damn much. So I'm gonna land up here, take a height advantage on him. Maybe, uh, yeah. That's an exit guy, he's got some really high level guns on him. So I wasn't able to finish him even though we both had room to help. The shredders do pretty, they put a lot of damage close range. Um, so I've got my other, other outgen here. See that hood guy? I want, I want to 1v1 him. We, we, we hood guys really are at each other's necks sometimes. <laughs> so I'm, I'm actually going to go fly over to him. He seems to be like in an Ares or something, but I've got a uh, shield breaker, so I can take him out anyway. He had a shield, but it seems to be shield Oh, okay. I can actually aim through the ground. Oh, dang. I, I, whoever that was died, but I was able to aim through the ground and hit. Uh, there we go. I'm still able to aim at that guy in the authority. That's a very interesting strategy. If your enemy has a stealth, you can usually aim at one of their enemy, one of their teammates behind them and still hit them. It's really fun thing to do there. Um, so Loki really has to stay on the move. That Loki seems to go AFK and aim pretty bad time. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this last beacon. I think we basically won this game. Definitely went a lot better than last game. That's for sure. Uh, and the pursuer seems to. So I'm gonna do another one of these little, little cheeky tactics. I'm gonna try to hit that pursuer from the under here, between this Titan's legs, like that. And take him out. Uh, that exit person's got a lot of a lot of bots on him. I don't, I don't really know which bot this is, so I'm not gonna go attack uh, just until I find. I can see which bot it is. Who is it? What's he in? Oh, okay. Oh, well, it's a mystery. We'll never know. <laughs> so, you know, there, there's another game. Now, I think I'll play one more game before I call this a day. So, uh, I'll see you next in the next game. All right. So here we seem to have spawned in the Dreadnought map. Um, so me and this Loki. Well, this is. I think this might be the same Loki from last game. I can't see his name because he's in stealth, but. I really do like this setup. Gotta say again, that this is an amazing looking setup. This whole you know, rhymes on the Loki, sinister rhymes specifically. I actually wish I had gotten three sinister rhymes just so that I could do this. But uh, we are, we do have the Christmas events. Maybe I'll get lucky and get another one. I only have two, but like I would honestly run a Loki just because of how nice that looks. And actually, it is. Uh, I'll take back what I said previously. This is a pretty effective setup. Having uh, three quick burst weapons so that you can unload your all of your shots and then just put all the weapons away and go back to stealth. It's, it's a pretty pretty fun setup. But Loki honestly just gets really really uh, he gets in trouble when it comes to anti-stealth players um, as in stealth. Okay, so we have here two guys with some pretty high ranking. That Loki just got absolutely ripped apart by that uh, phantom. I was luckily able to lock down that Algen while it was in its ability, but yeah, it seemed to kill me anyway. These guys have got some maxed gear. But I do hope that these games could at least have a little bit of insight as to you know how you're how it's like to be in these lower champion leagues where you're not as high level as everyone around you. It does require a lot a lot of thinking outside the box and playing differently, a lot more strategy because you know, for the most part.
part, basically all of these players will just beat you in a direct way. Oh, looks like except for this guy. This guy seems to be a pretty outdated setup. You know, for the most part, you have a lot of players who are just super high level. So there's somebody who Vox Watermelon Man. I'm pretty sure that guy has like, had some videos of danger. So, yeah, it's a uh, it's definitely something to make sure of. It requires you to take many different, different playstyles when you're getting I did want to at least proc this guy's last stand. Seems like a teammate was able to do that though. Um, but I ran out of ammo, so that does kind of suck. Uh, last stand is something that definitely impacts how you play in these high leagues. Uh, last stand is really just, it's, I don't know how to say, it's just a part of life at this point. I really do not like the last stand module. I wish it wasn't introduced. I think it's too powerful. Same thing with the face shift, even though I'm using it. It's become a necessary module, which really sucks to know about. So all these modules that make you invincible, all these abilities that make you invincible, they're not, you know, it's not fun. I'd rather have, even these abilities make you like near invincible. Lots and lots of, uh, what's it called? Lots of those, what's it, defense points. Resistance and such. It's just, you know, it really takes away uh, a lot of the original game called the corner shoot. Fun stuff. And now it's just kind of, you know, use your invincibility abilities and whoever's the most invincible wins. Whoever's the most leveled wins. This isn't really meant to be just a big talk about a lot of the policies and stuff of this game. I do generally still enjoy it. Of course, that's why I'm playing and make videos on it. It is something to think about if you're in, in my situation at these high leagues fighting against these high league players. I do hope that at least Pixonic will be able to fix this matchmaking quite a bit whenever they uh, merge Android and iOS, as well as like these lag issues and spamming and teleporting without the visibility. It is pretty ridiculous. A lot of the lag, a lot of those problems that, that we have been stressing for a while now. But, um, you know, with that being said, I. I do hope I'm at least capturing some sort of enjoying game, uh, enjoyable game, enjoyable commentary, and uh, if, if I do decide to put music in the background, tell me if you like it, although I don't know if I will, because whatever, copyright, bullcrap, that stuff, and royalty free music generally sucks. Uh, a lot of the royalty free music though, I get free, 99 lives, that royalty free music is really good, cool. it's pretty nice. I, I used actually 99, one specific song in 99 Live to find the description for both my intro and my outro. I just used different parts of the song that I think fit the intro and outro more. And, uh, yeah, that's how it works a little bit. So here we do, we have again the, the Bane of Titan, the outro. Really giving me some problems. Three outros here. Kinda, it kinda sucks, you know? I, don't, I do think the Titan should like. Sonic did mention giving Titans modules. I don't know what they think about giving the Titans active modules, but they, you know, getting anti-stealth, getting shield breaker, getting all those things on Titans, I do think that that is kind of necessary to make them more viable. Because as they are now, they, they're good against resistance spots and like leech, because like they can bypass a lot of the resistance with their alpha weapons and some buff. But when it comes to lots of things like stealth and uh, shield shields and such. Really kind of just launcher right there. I was actually considering. Oh, this guy's here. Uh, watermelon man. It's been nice knowing you, but he's gonna kill me in one burst. Okay, so we have an Arthur here. Now, uh, I do like the Arthur, as I said in the beginning of the video. I've got one too. I might record some videos with it. But the Arthur is certainly a fun robot. Uh, it's pretty powerful, and it actually is. When, you're, when it comes to robo to builds like that, the one wa watermelon man, is, it's quite powerful because, because its shields can hold up the plasma much better than it can hold up to, like this build here. The Avenger build is one, probably the most popular uh, build for outgens, but uh, when it when it comes to you know, all other builds except for the Avenger and the Ember builds, uh, th this guy does really well because his physical shield has so much health and you can hold up to that. So I'm just gonna stay by this guy. He could help me out whenever you know, my ability goes down and stuff. I'm gonna just stay behind him. And, uh, 
watermelon man I'm not sure if this, this guy's going to do He does look like definitely another, another highlight. Wow, Watermelon Man is going right through that, that resistance line. Well, anyway, that I think that's basically going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. That, that That's really all I've got to show you guys. Um, you know, it is, it is pretty fun playing the, with these bots and such. But matchmaking still definitely is an issue. Like these videos are not cherry picked. A lot of videos are going to be heavily cherry picked when you know YouTubers will make them. They'll pick only the videos where they do great. But oh, okay. Here I got it. Actually got a chest to open. Let's open this. Uh, power cells. Okay. No, that's fine. I do use a lot of power cells. But anyway, yeah. A lot of videos are going to be cherry picked. That was just three completely random games that I decided to play, and I wanted to see you know. Uh, one game was pretty good, and the other two, unfortunately, I was squat against really high league players and such. But what can you do? We can only just wait and hope that this update that comes soon will be good for the game and help us out a little bit with uh, matchmaking problems and such. Um, but anyway, uh, I hope you guys have had a great decade. And I don't know exactly when I'll put this video up, but, uh, but you know... It's currently Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. You know, you guys have a wonderful day. This is Mr. Adazahi. As always, I am a poorly drawn octopus. I'll catch you on the flip side.